on the west side, that is called the edge. The edge, yes. The edge has a hundred percent glass walls and a large giant cutout in the bottom. But you guys can see. Yep. Is that right? But if you are insane, like my friend right here, right, with the diamond hat, they'll put him in the harness and he can scale that large of the Yes. But it's going to say yes, but I'm going to pronounce them as yes. Yeah. Yes. They put you in the harness and you can scale that thing. I'm not doing it. He's going to do it. He'll take the photo, he'll tag me, and I'll tell everybody I was good. I'm scared. That's been converted to a restaurant. In front of this restaurant, there is a 10 foot high cast iron frying pan. Part, you'll be eating at the pier, but just like you, I'm gonna say the prices are two dollar all right? You're gonna spend a lot of money there. It, it, these are the same dollars. Uh, I don't know if they don't do you guys. Let me see if somebody got to still be in settings. Yeah, you, 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 you smile. You yeah, know. I took pictures. So now, guys, check Chelsea Piers, but we're about to ask a really plain looking figure, Peter 57. It's very mundane, it is very plain, but if you know how I know, that is the pier that Google owns and operates, all right? The, the Marine and Aviation Pier. Right behind it are Google offices, those brown buildings. They're about 300 structures. Yeah, that's very unique. There, 24 hours a day, because when you work for Google, you never go home. No, sir. Now guys, but right next to it, it is an amazing structure. It's made up of 32 individual posts. It looks like high heels. Some people say it looks like golf tees or tools. The name of this place is called Little Island. Little Island. Little Island is, listen up, free to visit. You guys can visit Little Island for free. It has two bridges on it, concerts weekly, and instruments built into the structure. That is another, actually, that is another uh, structure built by the Thomas Heatherwick group. He didn't do it personally, but it's made to Now, if you're looking at the Empire State Building, you should be wondering, what is that building right next to you? And the building next to the Empire State Building is actually located on 42nd Street, and it is called the Vanderbilt Building, right? Let me get out here because I don't need to too many hands in pockets, all right? The Vanderbilt, you see that building? But the needle on top is completely different. The needle on top of the Vanderbilt is a 100% glass elevator, which you can ride, all right? Because I'm not doing it, I'm scared of heights. So I need somebody to do it from Tag Big City. Yes, Yaz is going to do it nice and good. See that building with the gold roof? It should be. It should have your attention. That is the New York Life Building. You have to sell tons of life insurance to have a solid gold roof. All right. Yo, bro. I saw you in the gym this morning. Yeah. You want to do a treadmill? Leave it on Sports Center. Let's go check the remote. Anybody else was in the gym? I feel like I'm serving. Anybody else was in the gym with me? Hey. Yeah, I was in the gym with this dude right here. He didn't wipe off the equipment. I told everybody, all right? Nobody wants to work out after him. Now, I need to make a rap group really quick. I need to make a rap group really fast. All right, so now listen, we got our group together. The top two floors of that building located on 56 and Leonard belong to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh, okay. Right, so once we get our demo together, I'm gonna bring it over. Now, I know that Beyonce is on the world tour, so I'm gonna be sure the security guards and the whole thing. I'm gonna try my best, all right? Get it in there. Now, oh, yeah, I've seen that. we're coming to an amazing building. If it was your first time in New York City, or if you haven't been here in 20 years, where were you 20 years ago? Exactly. All right. Now, we are now at the site of 9-11. You guys are looking at the Freedom Tower. And I would give everybody that was hung over hanging out with me in the hooky spot yesterday a great injustice. I'm talking about you, Ethan. 
I would do everybody that was hungover hanging out with me last night a great injustice if I did not touch on a brief 9-11 story, all right? Listen up, guys. Listen up. When you grow up in a big city like New York, or any big city for that matter, if you hear a loud explosion, right, or a car crash, that's what me and my friends call Friday. So on the very day, on the very day when the first plane hit, a lot of native New Yorkers heard a loud boom, but we had no idea what was happening until the police and fire let us know. When the second plane hit, I grew up one mile away from here by the Williamsburg Bridge, and everybody in my neighborhood and everybody around the world was watching. As those buildings came down, you see how most of these buildings are really nice and neat? That's because most of these buildings were destroyed, ladies and gentlemen, all right? We lost our internet, we lost our radio, but screw all of that, we lost a lot of good people. And I want you guys on this boat to know, if you think for one second that native New Yorkers were at each other's throats at 9-11, you are bugging because we lost everyone from a woman that was running a Fortune 500 company all the way down to a gentleman selling souvenirs on the street. We lost the person that was driving the limousine and we also lost the person that was riding in the limousine. They hit us hard, we hit back. But now guys, you are looking at the tallest building but let me unlock New York for you guys before we get to these bridges. You see this last skyscraper sticking out right here? This, it looks like it's twisted. This is Nine Spruce. This is actually New York City's first residential skyscraper. Yeah, this is fun. Now, we're coming to three amazing bridges. The first bridge is New York City's oldest bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge. The second bridge in this area is the Manhattan Bridge. The third bridge in this area is the Williamsburg Bridge. And if you was my friend now, you would have told me that was too many bridges to remember. So I'm going to break it down so we can remember these bridges for the rest of our lives, guys. This is how you remember all three bridges. BMW. The first bridge is the Brooklyn Bridge. The second one is the Manhattan. If you watch that one, you might see a train going across that one. The third one is the Williamsburg Bridge. All three bridges connect Manhattan to Brooklyn. And that's how you guys know I'm from Manhattan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, this is the area actually where I was born and raised, the Lower East Side. And this part of Brooklyn is called Dumbo, down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass. Does anybody But in this area, the apartments range from anywhere from $10 million to about a thousand dollars. So I've traveled all around the world and I love where I'm from, the Lower East Side of Manhattan because we never do the other side. Thank you. 